Welcome to Simple Home Science. I'm Owen. I'm Molly. And today we're looking at the science of gravity. Why don't you just float off into space? It's because of a fundamental force called gravity. In physics, there are four fundamental forces. These forces are responsible for the way all things in nature and the universe affect each other. Strong nuclear force. Weak nuclear force. Electromagnetism. Gravity. Gravity is the weakest of the four fundamental forces. Gravity is very important to our everyday lives here on Earth. Without gravity, we could never exist. The oceans, trees, humans and animals. And even our atmosphere would float off into space if enough force was applied to them. Lost forever. Ah. What is gravity? Gravity, put simply, is the force of attraction between objects. Anything that has mass has gravity. The more mass an object has, the greater the force of its gravity. The closer you are to these objects, the stronger the gravitational pull. The Earth's gravity keeps us on the planet's surface and the moon in its orbit. The sun's gravity keeps the Earth orbiting the sun. The supermassive black hole at the centre of the Milky Way galaxy, called Sagittarius A star, keeps the Sun in orbit around the galaxy centre. A mass and weight the same thing? No. Weight is the force that gravity has on an object. Well, mass is how much matter the object contains. The more mass, the more gravity. Let's take this bottle. Its mass is the same here on Earth as it would be on Mars. But its weight would change between the two planets. Because the gravity on Mars is a lot weaker than Earth's. Who discovered gravity? We understand gravity today primarily because of two great scientists. Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. In 1666, Isaac Newton observed an apple falling from a tree. He concluded that a force must be acting on the apple, pulling it downwards towards the Earth. He named this force gravity, but he never explained the source of gravity. In 1915, Albert Einstein explained gravity as a distortion of space and time, caused by the presence of matter or energy. This distortion is generated by massive objects warping space-time. This theory became known as the theory of relativity. So, do objects throw at the same speed? Yes, they do. Even objects with different masses will fall to Earth at the same speed. A bowling ball and a feather will fall at the same speed and land at the same time. Huh? I don't get it. On Earth, it is difficult to show this because of air resistance. But in a vacuum like the moon, it is possible. Thanks for watching our third science vlog on gravity. If you want to see more of our science vlog, click up here to watch them now. If you enjoyed this video and you want to join us on our journey, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you haven't done so already, SMASH THAT SUBSCRIBE BUTTON! We
hope to see you on our next video. See ya. Bye. I'm really getting a bit of talking about gravity. Yeah, it's really getting me down. My mum always says, why do you fall over? It's not, I just do random gravity checks. Oh, this is far from the end. You're gonna be back.